Canada has the world's third largest video game industry, and in fact, most of the big name games and top sellers were developed in Montreal. Now, other cities in Canada are trying to emulate the city's success by offering tax breaks, but that could mean trouble for the small time indie developers and startups. Christian Yeo has a story. Montreal may not be Canada's largest city, but for much of the video game industry, it's the place to be. With over 16,000 game developers across Canada, almost half call Montreal home. Montreal really is a world-class city for game development. That reputation largely comes from uh, the big AAA development studios like Ubisoft with Assassin's Creed and Far Cry, uh, and again Warner with Batman and uh, EA or with Army of Two, Bioware with Mass Effect. Those are the games that put Montreal on the map. For big budget studios, Montreal is simply too financially attractive to ignore. The Quebec government offers generous tax breaks worth around one third of staffing costs. But mobile apps are changing the game. Rags to riches tales of small time developers scoring runaway success with simple engaging games attempting many to set up on their own. To necessarily beat the game or, or no, win in any way. Montreal is home to around 8,000 game developers. Many work at the big so-called AAA studios like Ubisoft. Others are going down the indie route. Execution Labs is a venture capital funded incubator for gaming startups. Many of the entrepreneurs here have worked for major studios but decided to break away. I didn't expect at all to be uh, suddenly on, on my own essentially with just a couple of friends and, and trying to make our own games uh, from scratch. It's, a, it's an interesting, exciting time. It can also be a difficult time financially. The government incentives offered to the studios don't apply to these startups, making the leap to self-employment a difficult one. Maybe if they had a program for startups, like especially targeted for startups, that'd be a good idea to drive more indies. And in Montreal, because there are a lot of these guys everywhere, they just don't have the funding oftentimes to really accomplish their dream and they keep on working for companies and do their like, indie games on the side, which is problematic for contracts and everything. Montreal has set a precedent in Canada and now other cities like Toronto are trying to tempt major studios with their own tax incentives. With the world's third largest video game industry after the US and Japan, Canada has a vibrant economy, but one which some say still favours the big players over grassroots developers like these. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Montreal.